Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. And if you're new here, then welcome. I hope you consider subscribing because I would love to have you. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this cute primitive witch hat centerpiece. So if you'd like to see how I do this, then please keep watching. I will be using one of these child witch hats from Dollar General. Next, I'm going to be taking some cotton from an old pillow and I'm going to be stuffing the top of the hat with it. Make sure to push the stuffing all the way to the tip of the hat, but don't overfill it because you want it to be a little bit slouchy. I did end up having to take some of the stuffing out because it was too full. Next, I'm going to take some 26 gauge floral wire from Dollar Tree. If you have thicker wire, it would work better, but this was all that I had. So I ended up taking several strands, putting them together, and then wrapping them with the wire to make it more sturdy. I did cut the wire the length of the comb part of the hat. Now I'm going to feed the wire up through the middle of the cotton to the tip of the hat. This is so I can bend and shape the hat the way that I want it. Now I'm going to bend the end of the wire up and tuck it into the cotton to keep it out of the way. Then I'm going to take a piece of felt that I cut a little bit bigger than the hole of the hat and I'm going to glue it to the bottom so that the stuffing doesn't fall out. Next, I'm going to paint the hat with this Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color black, and I will be giving it two coats. Now that the paint is dry, I will be spraying it down with this Eileen's Tacky Spray, then pouring on some ground cinnamon, and using a sponge brush, I am going to rub the cinnamon in and then brush it off. After I get the hat coated in the cinnamon, I'm going to give it one coat of this Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel Spray and this is to seal in the cinnamon so that it stays in place. So here's how the hat looks after the clear coat has dried. You can see where some of the cinnamon didn't stick and that's okay because I just think that it adds to the primitive look that I'm going for. So now I'm just going to start shaping the hat the way that I want it by bending and pushing the hat down to make it look a little more slouchy. Where the folds are, I will be adding hot glue just to hold them in place. I think this would also make a really good Harry Potter sorting hat, just paint it brown instead of black. Next, I'm going to take three strands of jute twine I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to tie it around the base of the hat. I'm going to start adding different types of floral on the side of the hat using the floral I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm cutting off the ends of the twine. Then I'm going to start taking the different embellishments and floral and glue them to the hat the way that I want them. I'm starting with the pumpkins and then adding different leaves and flowers.
here's how it's looking so far. So lastly, I'm going to add a bat I got from Dollar Tree. It came in a set of four with clips on the back. I just removed the clip. And this is how the hat turned out. I think it turned out really cute. If you wanted to make this look a little more spooky, you could maybe add some black or purple flowers and maybe a spider and some cobwebs for that Halloween feel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!